The U.S. economy is fighting back against the pressures of inflation and winning. The nation's GDP beat expectations in the last three months of 2022, expanding 2.9 percent. It's a slight slowdown from the 3.2 percent growth we saw in the months prior. Economists say we could see the economy slow down even further in the coming months as an intended consequence of the Federal Reserve's actions. Jeffrey Frankel joins me now. He is an economist and professor at Harvard University. Jeffrey, just very broadly, what does this GDP number tell you about the overall health of the U.S. economy? Well, 2.9%, which is the fourth quarter, as your graph just showed, as you said, is actually a good number, uh, quite a good number. We've gotten so accustomed to bad news in the recent years that we should recognize good news when we see it. This was also completed the uh, GDP report for the year 2022, and that was uh, that was 2.1%. Um, but it is a big slowdown relative to 2021, as your graph shows. Uh, but 2021 was a was an exceptional year as we came roaring out uh, of the recovery, recovering from the coronavirus uh, and the recession of 20. 20. I think a better comparison would be the average long run rate of growth of the U.S. economy, which so far in this century has been 2.0 percent. So this is this year of 2022 was above average. So it was above average. And now help me understand unemployment. The unemployment rate dropped back down in December to 3.5 percent. Um, the Fed expects it to go up to about 4.5 percent. What's your sense of whether that's possible, given the strength of the, of the job market? And does it stop there? Um, or does once, once uh, job losses start to happen, do they gain a kind of momentum on their own? Well, there's a lot of pessimism out there, but uh, I'm a little bit more on the optimistic side. Uh, uh, unemployment, 3.5%, that's uh, all-time low. Uh, it's got to come up some from that, both because it's uh, lower than the long run average, what we call the uh, natural rate of unemployment, um, but also because, as you said, the Fed's been raising interest rates to slow down the economy deliberately to fight inflation. But I don't think it's going to go above four and a half percent. And what's your what's your sense of of what the, the these numbers mean in, for the Fed? I mean, are, so are the are the interest rate hikes working? Um, or uh, might the Fed see this as um, reason to modify their, their outlook and behavior? Well, there's, there's virtually never been a so-called soft landing where the Fed raises interest rates to cool inflation without causing a recession, but there's uh, always a first time, uh, let's say, in the last 50 years. Um, Meanwhile, inflation has been coming down slowly, and it's premature to declare victory, but uh, presumably that's the effect of the Fed tightening monetary policy. And I think they're just going to get more cautious. Uh, they're going to uh, slow down the rate at which they raise interest rates in the next couple of meetings. And then my guess is just leave them, uh, leave them around 5% for a while and see how that plays out, how it reflects in economic growth. And then, and then inflation. The, the, the mar financial markets expect the interest rates to come back down uh, late in the year, but I think that's a little over optimistic. Jeffrey, as somebody who is both an economist and also teaches the next generation of economists, give me your assessment of the predictive ability of the economic um, uh, college of, uh, of, of economists out there, in t and, th and that would include the Fed. We are in strange territory, as you already mentioned, coming out of a pandemic. Um, there are lots, I mean, there's a war uh, in Ukraine. Um, how possible, how easy is it to practice the art of economics and, and at this very moment? Well, it's difficult. Uh, different signs point different directions. I and mean, especially puzzling was the first half of 2022 when uh, GDP as conventionally measured showed a, a decline, yet the labor market was just roaring. And other measures like income were doing uh very well um it's 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 always difficult i would have been surprised that so many of my colleagues it seems certain uh, and have been for a while that we're going to have a recession because we can't predict recessions so i'll admit that right away either economists or anyone else can predict recessions in an average random year the probability that the u.s will go into recession is 15 percent it's clearly higher than that for 2022 but it's nowhere near a sure thing
I would say less than half, 50 percent. All right, Jeffrey Frankel, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Good to be with you.